Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. I have some pickups to go through, as well as a package that we got from Marlin. And I have to say, this is probably the biggest one we we have ever gotten on the show. Um, it at least rivals pretty much everything uh, I've ever gotten from Marlin. Insane package. We're gonna get to that last though, of course. We're gonna go through all these loose games I have here first. So let's just jump right into it. So here's one of my uh, bonehead mistakes that I made. I actually contacted John uh, Riggs um, because, and, and this is how uh, colossally bad I was at uh, making this mistake. So. I haven't been keeping up with everything uh, like I normally do uh, because I usually unless I trade something in or I trade something away or something like that I haven't been able to keep up with everything that I want to keep up with uh, because you know uh, money's kind of tight right now so this is all kind of on hold so I mean that's why a lot of my videos have been few and far between and stuff like that but uh, I pulled the trigger on this Holy Diver, and it's an NES uh, version, and the thing was, I had heard that Irem was releasing a Holy Diver, um, sort of like official re-release, you know, not with Nintendo's approval, of course, but uh, I guess uh, at, at the most official capacity that, you know, uh, a developer can do these days for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and they had also announced, like, um, I think it was Super R-Type and R-Type 3rd Lightning was also going to release in one cartridge. And so, I haven't been keeping up with everything, so I thought that had came out already and sold out and all that stuff. So I saw this on eBay, and um, it was cheaper than what uh, Irem was saying they were going to charge for it. So I'm like, it's still sealed. I'm gonna just pull the trigger on that, you know, and at least I have one of the two games they were releasing. As far as I know, it was only two. They may have announced more by now, but anyways, it wasn't. It's uh, official flashback, uh, well, flashback, um, and I've never heard of these guys. Uh, I'm not, I'm not super into, I'm not super educated on repros I know a little bit but you know not much I, I know you know what a new board looks like and uh, some of the I've watched some of John Riggs videos and uh, you know LinkedIn in, actually link in the description to, to John's channel if anybody wants to know anything about reproduction cards so they don't make stupid mistakes like this and buy something and from what I hear this is a um, an honest you know company is as far as I know um, I don't think necessarily that they did anything wrong um, but uh, it's just me that that kind of fucked up and thought that it was the IRIM release and I bought it and once I got it I opened it up and saw that it was a donor cart uh, and we could we could get into all that argument crap you know uh, in a later video or something, not now. Um, but it was a donor card, and I'm like, this isn't right. Th there's no way this is the iRim game. So I contacted John Riggs, and uh, eventually he discovered, oh, it's from Flashback. Because it, at first we were we were both thinking that it was a guy claiming it was the iRim release, and it was just a fake, you know, board that that he did himself. But uh, that ended up not being the case, obviously. I just fucked up. But, at any rate, I do have a... Uh, I did pick up a Holy Diver uh, complete in the box for the NES. That I'm probably going to end up selling at some point. To get the uh, IRIM official release. The next thing I have up is... I got with Jay again. And Jay... Jay's a cool, uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, we met in this group on Facebook, and uh, 
actually started talking again because he had recently sent some stuff to uh, to Bithead, and Bithead's talking about it on his channel. He's saying like, you know, uh, this package is from a naval ship, you know. And when he when he said that, he's like, uh, this package is from the the U.S. Navy. What the hell? Whatever. And I'm like, that's that's my buddy Jade. You know, I know that's him. <laughs> so I sent him a, a, a message. I'm like, you watch, you watch Bithead? I didn't, I didn't know you, uh, you watch Bithead or, or whatever. And uh, it was kind of like, I, I knew it was him, you know? And who else could it have been? Uh, but uh, Jay's kind of hooked us up in, in the past. Um, we had got Gradius uh, Deluxe Pack with him recently. And I had a hell of a time trying to import that one. Uh, for the Sega Saturn and he hooked us up with two more Famicom games that I was really looking for and the first one is uh, Transformers Mystery of Convoy and uh, I don't have any translations or anything like that prepared so hopefully that's the right title um, but yeah th this is uh, a, a comically bad difficult game and I think <laughs> I think that it's just really hard and it has a bad rep and I'm gonna try it for myself I've already tried I've gotten to the um, I've beaten like the first boss or whatever I'm pretty sure I got to the second level already so it can't be that bad because I only play played it for maybe 20 minutes so I think this is going to turn out to be an okay game, especially for someone who's gotten for punishment like me trying to beat, you know, some of these harder games. So, the next game we have up is YY World 2. Now, if you don't know about YY World 2, I'm hope I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, it it sort of takes all of Konami's IPs, both. American and and Japanese or whatever it, 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 this only released in in Japan so it included a lot of the IPs that we never got um, but it also includes stuff that we did get uh, like uh, Contra and Castlevania and uh, Twin B uh, and Gradius <laughs> So it, it's sort of like these characters, and I'm not super familiar with the with all the characters or anything. But um, it's sort of like you have these uh, Gradius bosses, you have these um, Castlevania levels, uh, a Gradius level. It, it's the the, the style of, of game changes. You know, every other level maybe. Um, I actually I had a, a, a cousin over that was visiting all the way from New Hampshire and we played it recently as soon as I got it the day I got it he actually came over we played it all the way through so it's not exactly a hard game or anything it's just cool and what it seems like to me is some of the music they have in this game are sort of like these remixes that I've never heard before of certain songs from Castlevania Gradius and stuff like that, so it, it's pretty cool. I, I think I'm gonna find these uh, soundtracks and try and use them on my channel if it doesn't get taken down. Um, so this was kind of high on my list because I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about. <laughs> <laughs> 